the one about... Uh, no, that's not what we're doing here today. Today we're going to be looking again at our Action Bible. So go ahead, if you have an Action Bible at home, turn it to page 556. Last time we looked at how Jesus did his first miracle at the wedding at Cana. And then right after that, he started doing all types of miracles of healing people and making the sick uh, good again and all sorts of things. And then the people started to wonder, could this guy be the Messiah, the one we've been waiting for? Who is this guy? And that's where we pick up our story. Jesus decided to go from Judea to Galilee. On the way, he passes through Samaria. As he and his disciples approach a well, Jesus decided to sit down and rest. His disciples went into the town to find food. Now Samaria was a place where the Samaritans lived. And unfortunately the Jews, that's what Jesus was, and the Samaritans, they didn't really get along. They didn't really like each other. And so as the disciples left, they were hoping that the Samaritans wouldn't cause any trouble with them. As Jesus was sitting at the well, a woman came up to get something to drink. And Jesus stopped her and asked, Can I have a drink? Now this may not seem like a big deal to us, but we have to remember that back in these days, women did not talk to men outside of their home. I know it's a little strange, but that's just how it was. Not to mention the fact that, remember, this is a Samaritan. The Jews and the Samaritans did not talk to each other. It's a double whammy. The Jews and the Samaritans have been enemies for over 500 years. And so when he asked for some water, she was shocked. She said, I'm a Samaritan and you're a Jew. Are you asking me for a drink? And Jesus said, if you knew who I am, you would ask me to give you living water. But she said, you don't even have anything to get water with. And the well is very, very deep. Jesus said, if you drink water from this well, you're going to be thirsty again later. But if you drink the water I give, you will never thirst again. The water I give is eternal life. Now this confused her a little bit, and we also have to see here that apparently she knew some of the Jewish writings because she said, I don't understand what you're saying, but when the Messiah comes, he will explain everything. Then Jesus said something amazing. He said, I am he. Uh-oh. I just, I just know it's a problem. My fingers don't work. How am I going to turn the page? I will figure out how to turn your page. Ah, there we go. Okay, we got it. When Jesus tells her that he is the Savior from God, she believes him and runs to the town to tell the good news. She said, come, see a man who has told me things about my life that no strangers could know. He is the Savior God has promised to send. While the woman is in town, Jesus' disciples return with food for him to eat. Thank you, Jesus said, but not now. I have food to eat that you don't know anything about. Now this confused the disciples some. They thought, wait a minute, did he have food this whole time? Did we go into the store, into the market for no reason? But Jesus said, my food is to do what God sent me to do. I am fed by finishing God's work. Now do you think that this means that Jesus said we shouldn't eat food, instead we should just work? No, that's not what Jesus is saying. He was just saying right now it wasn't important to eat. Right now, it was important to do what God had him to do. Although Samaritans hated the Jews, many of them believed in Jesus because of what the woman told them. They asked Jesus to stay and teach them about God, and so he stayed there for about two days. And we're going to stop our story right there, because I think there's a couple things here that we can learn about Jesus. Oh, there we go again. I can't point with my fingers. First, we have to look at the fact that Jesus talked to this woman, even though that wasn't normal. And... People thought it was kind of weird. We might have some people in our lives that might be weird to talk to. But Jesus saw that person as important. He wanted to share about himself with her, even though it was not normal. Jesus didn't care if it was a girl or a boy or where they were from. He knew they needed him. And I think it's important for us to share Jesus with everyone, no matter who they are. Also, we have to look at what Jesus saw was important. Now he wasn't telling us that we shouldn't eat food. I do like food. I like cookies and I like ice cream and I like putting them together. Ooh. 
Oh, it's kind of hot in this room. I could go for some ice cream. Jesus wasn't telling us that we shouldn't eat our food. If our parents tell us, hey, you have to eat your dinner, we can't say, well, Jesus decided that he wasn't going to eat his food. He was going to tell others about Jesus, so I don't have to eat my food. No, that's not what he said. Jesus was saying that it's very important to tell others about him. Doing what God wants us to do is always more important than what we want to do, even if it is doing something good like eating food. Well, that about wraps up our episode for today. Maybe you could write something in the comments for me. Maybe tell me a story, or you can answer my question. Have you ever wondered why tennis shoes don't lace up the back? No, me neither. Maybe instead you could write in the comments the what's... Maybe instead you could write in the comments what story from the Action Bible you would like us to cover on our episodes. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!